Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR 06 Career Mode. So we're going to head out to Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and I'm going to go ahead and get that qualifying effort in, and then we'll head out to the racetrack. Jeff Gordon's going to win at Dover. That's a big win for the Hendrick Motorsports camp. I mean, look at that. 15 or 14 top fives, 17 top tens with three wins. That is like, Wow. And we've raced like 20 races, too. I mean, just think about that. That is very, very tough to do. All righty, folks. Here we go for the Vegas 350. This is back when Las Vegas Motor Speedway only had one uh, Cup Series date. And the fall race was like a one-off joint for the um, for the trucks. I think they had like an Arca race or Xfinity race to, to support it. I'm not sure. But this was like a one-off deal for the trucks. This is something that would carry on even up to the mid 2010s, and it was a big deal because you had usually you had no cup leeches, so it was just the the young truckers just out here trying to make a name for themselves. Such a, it was always one of my favorite events of the year, kind of like how Kentucky and Iowa was, where it was a one-off. Uh, whenever the leeches would win all the other tracks, I always looked forward to those one-offs. But fortunately, we don't have to worry about so many leeches anymore, and it's a whole lot better product than, in my opinion, to watch. So, back here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, we got a gaggle of trucks behind us just trying to hold them off. It's nice to have a competitive truck with horsepower, because I remember racing here with little to no horsepower, and it, oh my goodness, man. It's a disaster. Let's just say that it is an absolute disaster trying to race a one and a half mile with a back marker truck, because there's just, there's just no speed. But, I mean, everybody is packed up here we're still too wide for like 10 rows deep. I mean, this is insanity how good the truck racing is right now. It's an 11 lap race, which is pretty short for um, some of these truck races. At least that I can remember. Maybe I'm used to the bush races now. Oh boy, that was close. A little bit of a bump from Terry Cook. That's going to allow Chase Montgomery to take the lead off the corner. Here comes Ryan Hornaday to the bottom. Uh, competitive truck racing. Gotta love it, man. Now, this is the old school Las Vegas. This is not the, the modern one you see on your television sets that has all that high banking. This is a uh, much flatter, um, original Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'll be honest with you. I much prefer the current day Las Vegas. I feel like it's just, ooh, better racing as we're going to make contact with the 18 truck. Drag race to the line. Make him run high. Here we go. We'll get that lap led. I'm trying to keep him from getting the most bonus points. Oh, we're going to make contact again. That's going to allow Hornaday to go underneath. Top three in the points are all duking it out week in and week out. I mean, you can't script this. I mean, this is an organic championship battle that is going on week in and week out. And oh, by the way, there is no playoffs. There is no chase. There is none of those Mickey Mouse gimmicks. It is straight up racing all right we can pit this time we're good on fuel if we want to pit this time i think we should personally just try to take care of the truck i think we're going to loosen this thing up to be honest with you i feel like if we loosen up just a smidge i think we might be able to get a little bit more speed out of it all right coming down pit road we go. Gas it up. Alright, cool. We're going to loosen up just a fraction. Just a little bit less PSI. How y'all doing, everybody? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps out the channel. Out here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway having a one-off event. And, man, we got a good piece tonight. It's going to get fun, man. We still have some great races left on the schedule. Got Homestead. Got Texas. Uh, I think we have we have Phoenix. That's an interesting track in the um, with the old configuration without the dog leg or whatnot. So we've got a lot of good truck races coming up and amazing pit stop. Great job, pit crew. 16 second flat pit stop. We'll take it. Uh, the pit crew has been just so much more consistent. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, we actually did it. Look at this. I did not mean to. 
We we pushed the lap or not lap down, but the the truck blending on the racetrack, and Ron Hornaday happened to be right there. I honestly was not trying to do that, but in hindsight, he did wreck me and Montgomery at Rockingham. So I'm just gonna keep it real. I guess we're even. I wasn't even trying to do that, and it happened to work. Maybe it's karma. I don't know, but he did take us out. So maybe it's karma. I don't know. Anyways, the rivalry continues. Caution is came and gone, and now we have a shootout to the end to win here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Great restart here. Purple truck looking on the bottom. Contact. He's going to hit us. Oh, no. Blending into the traffic. We're going to again tap Hornaday. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. Out of all the trucks we hit sideways with absolutely no control, we hit Hornaday again. It looks like we made a, a beeline for him, but I'm actually trying to catch the entire truck. This has got to be karma or something. <laughs> this is for what he did at Rockingham. You know? Some days you're the bat. Some days you're the ball. And, uh, wow. Hey. I, I wasn't even trying to hit him. I was trying to save the truck. And he just happened to be right there. You can't make this stuff up, man. I, I love these EA games. You get a little bit of some quirky randomness that happens and uh, anything goes so now our tires are a little bit more worn ron hornaday is still up here he's probably ticked i'm just hoping we just don't spin out because of our tire wear this is going to be crazy to the end i don't know how this one's going to end he's actually not that much of a rivalry believe it or not which is like shocking So I'm trying to find that limit. I don't know how bad our tires are right now, so I'm trying to be a little gingerly, but at the same time, it's go time. It's two to go. You know what I'm saying? You want to push it, but at the same time, top three is pretty good, but there's only five more truck races after this. You have five more shots to gain points. You can't wait forever. you got to take the initiative now. If you're going to win this championship, you better start now. So we're going to be aggressive here as much as we can. Tight off the corner, coming to the white flag here. I mean, we are full draft right now. I'm trying to see if I can catch any sort of draft. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Hornaday to the bottom. There we go. Are we going to go three wide? This is stupid. Contact with the 18 truck coming off the corner. Draft, full throttle, full send. Down to the bottom, a little bit of momentum, coming to the strike. It's going to be... Dang it! <laughs> what a finish. Ryan Hornaday wins at Vegas after being in two crashes. Oh, this truck series stuff, man. I, man, this is some good racing. Holy cow. And you tell me the truck series ain't competitive. Are you not entertained? What a wild one. Holy moly, that was crazy. So me and Montgomery are going to tie in terms of bonus points. So we gain, drumroll please, five points. Let's take a look through the field. What a crazy, crazy race. Dude gets into two wrecks and wins a freaking one and a half mile race with a beat up truck. You can't make this stuff up. But guess what? We're on to the next one, boys. What a crazy event. That that was, that was wild. <laughs> <laughs> like wow that was wow we're probably gonna have a rival after that though let's see oh no no one's gonna step up okay cool that's that's great don't have to deal with anybody we do you know we can let ace money maker be chilling oh boy let's see what's crack a lacking oh dang another race man they are loving me at this truck team let's go check it out real quick for you in this episode Dang, there we go. It keeps going up. 12000 per race. And our bush contract's at 27000 So, hey, we'll take it, man. We'll take it. So, uh, let's check their standings. Shane Hamill's still dominating. Ryan Newman is your points leader. Wow. Where's Jimmy Johnson? Dang. Johnson must have had a DNF. He, he was literally the points leader all year, just about. Now he's a buck 36 behind. His 
third straight championship is in jeopardy. Wow. And we're 86 points out for the truck title. Oh, it's going to be good with five races to go. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're so close to getting that level three prestige. Uh, so we're almost there, guys. Almost there. So make sure to check out that promo code. Use code DiecastBuffet and you can save on shipping. Helps out the channel. The next race we'll be going to is going to be, well, Martinsville. And then we'll qualify for Kansas. And then we'll head out to, well, the Kroger 200. So that's all for now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.